Today on Restixon, we are going to be making this adorable pipe cleaner spider web, complete with spider. Hi everybody, it's Teresa with Restixon.com. Today we're gonna to be making this ridiculously cute spider web and it's so simple, you can do it even with very young kids. So let's get right to it. Let me break it down for you. First thing you need is eight black pipe cleaners. This will be like the spokes of your spider web. So just at the very tip, you kind of line them all up. Oops, line them all up and as close to the tip as you can, twist them all together. So it should just be like half an inch twisted and just kind of bend it in on itself to make a little ball, okay? So now you just have to spread out your spokes and that will create the base of your spider web. So now we just need to create those loops, you know, those kind of sagging arch threads that connect the spider web together. So the side without your little ball of twisted knot is going to be the front. So let me turn that so you can see and then with more um, pipe cleaners. You're going to start with one, twist that around, and then kind of bend in that arch. Because remember, you know, when the spiders do it with silk, it's just suspended. It doesn't have wire in the middle. So you got to try to kind of replicate that look. And then twist that around like so, and you keep on going, make that little loop, there you go. And you don't wanna pull your spokes out of position, so make sure that you don't do it too tight. You leave yourself plenty of room. And I found that it looks best when you vary um, the sizes. You don't want it to be too uniform. Nature is very, very messy, so it shouldn't all come up on the same um, level. You know, you want some, like this one I connected pretty high, the next one's lower, that one's kind of straight across, the next one I'll do kind of high. You switch it up like that will make it look way more like an actual spider web. So, there you go. You just kind of do that all the way around. When I finished my one um, pipe cleaner, when I ran out of space, you just twist it around to finish it off grab the next one and twist it in that same place. And it's nice when you start a new one to really vary that position. So if this ends way up high, I'm gonna start the next one very low just to get that kind of messy, natural spiderweb look. So give that a twist and then keep on going. You get the idea all the way around the bottom. When your first layer is done, you just grab more pipe cleaners and keep right on going with the second level, twisting all the way around. And on the bigger level, you'll find that you'll run out of room. So like this right here isn't quite long enough. So I'm going to snip it. With pipe cleaners, a lot of times even scissors will do the job, but I'm gonna use wire cutters since I have them handy. And save these little pieces because that's what we will use to be making our spider. So I'm gonna keep going around and around and around, and I'm going to make three total layers. And just make sure that on your last one, you still want these ends left. You want the pokey parts to show. So my next layer is gonna be right about there, um, just continuing to go around and twisting it all in place. Here's the finished spider web. Let me see if I, maybe if I hold it out like here, it'll get in front of the window and you can really make it out. It's so simple and so easy. So now all we have to do is add our spider. So this is where we're gonna take all the little pieces that you snipped off to make your spider web and we're gonna ball them up like so. 
This is gonna be our spider's head, and then we need another ball for the body. And so I've got two more pipe cleaners that I'm gonna do that here. Now, before you use all of your stray bits to make up your spider, you need to leave um, five other pieces. There's gonna be four for the legs, and then one little one to join the head to the body. So make sure that before you ball everything up, you pull those ones out. And okay, here's my body. I just kind of bunched it all up. And when you do the body, you wanna make it a little bit loose because then we'll take our legs and shove them through. And I like to kind of wind them in between and around to kind of help give the body a little stability and a little fullness so I can kind of twist that around to keep everything in its place. So I'm gonna do that for all four legs. So there's my little spider body with all the legs and you can see I left a couple fairly long because those we will use in just a second. But first let's put the head on. So I'm gonna take my little piece and just kind of push it through some of those wires that we balled up and then push it through here and twist together. There we go, so there's our spider. Now we just need to get it onto the spider web. So using these extra little pieces that secure the head on and then using our longer legs, I'm just going to twist that onto the web like a good spot. So there's the finished product and I love how simple and pure it is. I've been thinking about experimenting with some spray glitter but I, I don't know yet because I really love just the clean simple look of it. So I hope that this was inspiring to you that you'll give it a try and let me know if you do. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll help you out. Subscribe to the channel for lots more great ideas and help me out by sharing these videos, pinning and Facebooking and helping me spread the word. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.